coming up next on Nick. Snick with all new episodes of Rugrats, all that, and Kanan and Kel. <laughs> Plus Henry and June with... Kablam! So stay tuned for Snick. Coming up next. Keep your mittens off that remote. Come on. Applebee's introduces luscious new combinations of our original riblets. Paired with ooh so tender sirloin steak. Or crispy golden chicken fingers. Or classic Caesar salad. Combo so good most people describe them as... Outrageously juicy. Tender and tangy. Meaty and hearty. Bodaciously good. Downright delicious original riblet combos. You belong at Applebee's. No time to clean? Call Merry Maids. Merry Maids, call today for a free in-home estimate. The squirms crawl in, the squirms crawl out, they cross your stomach and out your mouth. Yes, it squirms! The new worm crawling game, so gross, it's totally cool! Get all your worms into the skull first, and you're the bona fide champ! But watch out for the brain! Now, once more with feeling. The squirms crawl in, the squirms crawl out, they cross your stomach and out your mouth. I hate when that happens! Squirms, the gross new game from Parker Brothers. And I'm Potter. Keep your cartwheels. Just like me. It's as easy as one, two, three. Casey Cartwheel. Casey Cartwheel. Each so separately. Hey, everybody. Come and see. My cabbage patch paint and face with cabbage paint. Paint and face with magical makeup crayons and stencils. Woo! <laughs> Try Bunny. Cool. Try Princess, too. <laughs> My face, your face. Your smock and your shoes. <laughs> wow. Lots of painting faces for Ooh. painting bungalows. She looks great. <laughs> painting faces kid. Cabbage Patch Kids Painting Faces Kid comes with everything you see here, each sold separately. Kids have the right to fun, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah! Discovery Zone. We have a right to express ourselves freely. Yeah! Can't you see I gotta be a DC? I gotta be a DC. The home of the free. Well, we have a right to musk spooktacular. Trick or treat. With mask, tongue tug, target launch, and more scary stuff. Like free mask squeeze hits. With paid admission at participating locations while supplies last. Mask spooktacular. Only at DZ. Exercise your right! DZ. Everyone loves Tuggles, and now there are big Tuggles too. With big Tuggles and giant cuddly friends who really walk. Make New Tuggles. You help her walk. Each sold separately. <laughs> You look like you just ran the marathon. Perhaps that's because I had to sprint to make it here in time. My newly assigned parking spot is miles from the front door. I drew names from my hat. Yours was last. Well, is there anything you can do? I can't play favorites, detective. If I switch your spot, everyone would know. What was wrong with the old system anyway? First come, first serve. Made sense to me. Someone kept parking in the mayor's spot. He got fed up. So we're all forced to pay for one bonehead's actions? Those of you with cars? Yes. It go 
just to show how easy it is for one person to write something for everybody. Which is what almost happened to our Varsity Girls basketball team. Check out this next mystery. See if you can beat the buzzer to the solution. out there. That's what we need to find out. No way. Is that itching powder? Itching powder? But who won her our team? Please. It's a no-brainer. It must be the other team. The cops. Oh, and they can't play dirty? No offense. And you are? Christy. Christy Sayers, head of the pep squad. And if I say so myself, uh, a bit of a mystery buff. Al. You too. Al. Al. But now! Way to go, Christy. You got us all kicked out. Which proves I was close to the truth. I think I made that detective very uneasy. What's her story? Christy Sayers? Oh, she's desperate for attention. I guess trying to solve mysteries is her latest ploy to get some. That's kind of twisted. Yeah. Ready to take her on? It's no contest. You could say that again. Hi, Montana. Where are you going? Coach's office? Yep. Oh, tell Dakota she looked great out there. Uh, yeah. Sure. Your sister's changing. Yeah, but I left my flu case in your office. Could I pick it up now? Sure. Maybe the lockers were tampered with. Well, let's go see. Hey, Josie. Hey, how are you playing today? You're one of the team star players. Try telling the coach that. Oh, if you see Shelby, would you mind telling her to uh, get a move on? Josie, can you grab some fresh towels for your teammates? Are they still my teammates? Josie. What's wrong, Gina? I have to get home for supper, but I need to count the money we raised first. It's part of my job. So, ask her if it's okay. Her bark is worse than her bite. <laughs> Detective Delancey? Is it all right if I count the money we raised? It's in that box over there. I don't see why not. like this has ever happened. Nobody is blaming you, Gina. Can you tell us exactly what happened? I took everyone's money and put it in the box. Brought the box to Coach Arnold's office. I closed the box, I locked it, I put the box on the shelf, and Coach and I left the office, and Coach locked the door. Who has keys to the box? Just me, but there's only one key, and it never left my key ring. It doesn't appear to be tampered with. Someone must have stolen the coach's key. Impossible. Once the box was locked, the coach left the office and locked it. The keys were on the chain around her neck. 
That money was gonna send our team to Florida for the Citrus State shootout. Don't worry. We'll get it back. No, you don't understand. We have to pay the tournament registration fee by the end of the week, or we can't enter. Then we'll do our best to get it back before then. Uh, lean to the left. So, the whole itching powder thing was just a way to distract everyone so the thief could get to the box. Well, who went into the coach's office? Josie went in to get the towels. And Gina, she handles the money. But remember, she locked the box in full view of the coach. Didn't you say Montana was in the office for a few minutes? Yeah, just to pick up her flute case. A perfect place to hide a wad of cash. I don't know Montana all that well. Yeah, well, you know those band types, they stick to themselves. Yeah, but I've always thought the flute is a beautiful instrument. Maybe it's time I learned how to play. Boy, this is a lot harder than it looks. No, I'll try telling my family that. What do you mean? I don't know, my talents are underappreciated. Oh, for starters, this thing could use a good cleaning. Well, I'll go fill up the sink. No, no, no. Never submerge your flute. You need one of these. They didn't give you one when you rented your flute? No. Ah, well, don't worry about it. I have to stop by there on the way home for some sheet music anyway. Um, I'll pick you up one. Thanks. Let's try this again. So, you think she could have used the flute cleaner to open the box? Well... I'll have to see that lock, but I guess it's possible. Hey, Angie, Shelby, Josie, hi. Don't you have basketball practice? Why should I go to practice when the coach won't let me play in games? You're benched? What for? I'm flunking science. Coach Arnold says until my grades improve, I'm off the team. It's a drag. You're telling me I'm penalized just because I'm not a science nerd. No offense, Angie. It's OK. Consider the source. Huh? Nothing. So, you don't get to go to Florida? No. It's so unfair. They're going because of me. If I don't go, no one should go. Maybe she can still go. How? The science exam's in a few days. Well, she can pass if she had a science nerd as a tutor. Hey, she's athletic, but you? I think I could take. Come on, Angie. Think of it as a rare opportunity to open someone's eyes to the wonders of science. Don't you mean it's a chance to check out another suspect? If that works for you, sure. Okay, Josie. If you want to bring your science grade up, I could always tutor you. Really? You do that for me? Sure. I'd love to. Great! I was going for a shot one. I got accepted. Into what? The Sorbonne's language program. The Sor what? The Sorbonne. It's in Paris. It's only the most prestigious language program in the world, and they've accepted me. Wow. Must cost a fortune. Oh, I'm not worried. I've been saving. What are the three laws of motion? I don't know. I can't remember this stuff. You're wasting your time, Angie. Well, you can do this. Just read it over again. So, I bet Vince told you about Gina and her extensive French school. Pretty interesting, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I've been thinking. Maybe we should team up. Pool what we know. But you don't know anything. You're wrong if you think you're going to figure out who stole that money all by yourself. Maybe we should go eat someplace quieter. Trade you have a tuna fish for half your pizza slice. Yeah, that's fair. Gina's a hot suspect now. I got accepted. She handles the money, and she has a motive. I bet it costs a lot to go to that French school. Then there's Montana. Uh, yeah, but I left my flu case in your office. Could I go pick it up now? She had access to the box, and her flute cleaner might make a perfect lockpick. Don't forget Josie. 
If I don't go, no one should go. Maybe you should find the perfect way to stop any of them from going. Got a jet. English class. Me too. You coming? I've got a free period. I think I'll stay here for a while. Later. Is this man flying? Is this woman hiding something? Is this school mascot up to no good? These are just a few of the usual suspects found in the Wu files. What are you doing in here, Wu? Missing persons, suspicious characters, freaky occurrences. Sometimes it takes a kid to solve the tough mysteries, and that kid is Shelby Wu. Nickelodeon's number one kid detective. There's a different Wu file every Sunday night on the mystery files of Shelby Wu. There's a special place that's far away Where all the Merwies come to play Merwies, it's bath time! Merwies are beautiful girls who live in seashell houses And when they swim in your tub, they magically turn into mermaids All the shells come with their very own water toys and special sea friends Merwies, Merwies One Merwie doll comes with each shell, others sold separately the breakfast crew and this is our new deal for breakfast everything will revolve around the toaster all foods will be four-sided we'll have no use for spoons except as nose guards naturally the official food of the breakfast crew is anything but breakfast as usual it's kellogg's pop tarts funky frosting on top of real fruit filling and side square pastry part of this complete breakfast which if we had our way will be surprising because at breakfast pop tarts boom this is the Lego Mediac here at Technic Helicopter. Let's check in down on the track. Thanks, Steve. The drugs are getting tuned up, geared up, and they're wrong. And it's Red Bungie Blaster. Wowee! How'd he do it? Well, take another look at his picture. Right here. That giant Technic robot. The expert. What a maniac! The new collection from Lego Technic. Each set sold separately. Star Castle. Spend a magical day at the pretty park carnival. Star Castle's hide a magic surprise. Towers turn into carnival rides. Super cars pump and drag, spin and round, rolling up and down. With the Star Castle princess, you can fly high. So much to do at the pretty park carnival where all your dreams come true. Pretty park carnival Ferris wheel and carousel Star Castles are each sold separately, but you can join them together. Do you think of the prices here at Mars? I've shopped around and Mars prices are the lowest. This is why I shop at Mars. Great value. Mars prices are lower than the other prices I've shopped. Mars is cheaper. A lot cheaper. Low, low prices. You can't beat it. <laughs> they come out a winner every time. That's Mars. Lucky Leaf Apple Juice, 64 ounce bottle, 99 cents limit one. Edie's Grand Ice Cream or Frozen Yogurt, half gallon, two for five dollars. And Progresso Soup, selected varieties, 19 ounce can, 99 cents. Now through Tuesday at Mars. I'd rather read a big old book than ever take a stupid drug. Drugs aren't cool, they can mess you up at school. Drugs are a pain, they can hurt your body and your brain. A big old bug with an ugly mug is better than any stupid drug. They make you sad and your parents mad. Drugs are dumb, they make you clumsy, slow and numb. I'd rather read a big old book Don't do drugs. than ever take a stupid drug. Yes, 
someone isn't too happy with our investigation. That's an understatement. I could have been in that sneaker. Well, anyway, look. The thief must have dropped this once the game began. Itching powder. Hey, Norm's novelties. Man, that place is great. I haven't been there in ages. We should go and, and look for clues. Well, howdy, neighbor. Uh, are you Norm? In the flesh. Uh, why wouldn't... <laughs> Can't believe I fell for that. I'm sorry. So sorry. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Here. Have a chocolate. <laughs> now, what can I do you for? We're just trying to find out if anyone's bought itching powder from you recently. Well, that can be a little tough. Sometimes the sweet sound of a cash register ringing up a new purchase can jog my memory. Fine. I'll take this. A fine choice. The disappearing ball trick. Now, you were asking me about itching powder? Yes, I do remember selling some just last week. Do you remember who you sold it to? Sure. To but 30 young pranksters just like yourself. Hey, that's one of my better selling items. I've disappointed you. I'm sorry. Why don't you just sit down here and I'll try to think a little harder, okay? Oh, Shelby! <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the old cat. <laughs> Still the best cat. Dad, I finished the inventory on the fake snot. What's next? It's hard to believe Norma's Gina's father. They're so different. Yeah, lucky for Gina. She has gallons of itching powder at her fingertips. Yeah, but Norm's is an institution, Shelby. I mean, what kid hasn't bought his, his first fake barf there? Or his first pack of chili powdered chewing gum? Me? Well, then you're the exception to the rule. Yeah. No, <sighs> oh, that was a... Uh... That was good. Yeah, you're you're improving. You think so? Ah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that must be my mom. She's picking me up tonight. Oh, and I got you your flu cleaner too. Oh, hi, Dakota. What are you doing here? Picking you up? What's it look like? I thought mom was picking me up tonight. She's in the car. We're getting me new basketball shoes. But she was supposed to help me pick out a new dress for my concert. I need the shoes for a game tomorrow. Your concert's not till next week. Come on! Unless they're going to my flute recital now. Unless they find the money for the entry fees. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. So, sounds like Montana's shaping up as a suspect, wouldn't you say? Christy, what are you doing here? We're solving a mystery together. Except next time you're investigating, someone call me. I can hide in the closet and record the conversation. Record this, okay? and play it back over and over again. Okay. We're not working together. I know it sounds hard, but it's simple, really. It's all about momentum, inertia, action. I haven't understood a word you said since, hey, Josie, how's it going? You can't quit, Josie. Sorry. Reflex. Not reflex. Force. What? The first law of motion. What are you talking about? Every object moves in a straight line unless acted upon by a force. So? So you blocked my shot, right? Yeah. The paper moved in a straight line until you knocked it away. I was the force. Exactly! Still, that was a lucky break. Can you dribble? Can I dribble? The ball goes down, the ground forces the ball back up. That's one of those laws of motion, right? Yes! For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You know, 
I might be able to get this stuff. Maybe I can't pass the exam. Maybe we can all go to Florida now. There's only one small problem. The missing money. Oh, I'm not worried. I've got one. Hmm. Maybe you could use it to pick a lock. Shelby? What are you doing here at this hour? Oh, you know me. I can get enough of this place. None of them worked in the lock. Not a one. Whoever did it picked the lock with something else. If anyone even picked the lock. What do you mean? I'm not sure anyone really had enough time to pick the lock and take the money. But the money was gone when they opened the box. Somebody must have gotten the money somehow. Let's go over the suspects again. Well, they all had strong motives. Montana, for instance. This is a nice thing with my flute recital then. Montana had access to the box, and she's obviously jealous of all the attention her sister gets. If Dakota doesn't go to Florida, her parents get to go to a flute recital. Then there's Gina. I finished the inventory on the fake snot. What's next? Gina works at Norm's, like king of itching powder. And she needs a lot of money to get to Paris. I like Josie a lot, but still. I'm not worried. I'm sure it'll turn up soon. She seemed pretty confident the money would reappear now that she had a chance to get back on the team. But how did the thief get the money? I mean, no one had a key, and no one picked the lock. Hey, where'd the ball go? Simple. It's half a ball. It just fits inside the lid. See, the inside of the lid is painted blue. So it helps create the illusion that the ball has vanished. That's it! So, Gina, did you hear? The police have given up on finding the money. We're not even going to bother returning the box. The school doesn't want it. I guess tomorrow morning, the police will just destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. Arnold's key. You couldn't take the money that night. There was always a chance we would search people who went near the box. You were right, Shelby. The money was here all along. But how? I have your dad to thank. He made me buy this stupid ball trick where the ball gets hidden. You spend your whole life around gags and trick illusions. 
So building your own box with a hidden compartment in shop class was probably a breeze. What's more important? Sending a bunch of dumb jocks to Florida or me to the Sorbonne? I could be in the foreign office someday. Not with a criminal record, you won't. Detective, I've got it. We've been looking at this case all wrong. We? Who spent the most time all alone with the money in the coach's office? The coach! You know, you're right. Should we stake out our house? Yeah, great idea. Why don't you go along? We'll be right there. Detective Delancey, don't look like you just ran the marathon. Well, I had my parking spot changed. Right next to the mayor's, in fact. How'd you manage that? Went to the police chief. In other words, you went over my head. That's not hard to do. Detective! Do you like a piece of chocolate? Oh, sure. <laughs> really, Shelby, do you think I'd fall for that old gag? for the weekend? You bet you do, because it's Nickelodeon's Big Help Weekend. The celebration kicks off during a special SNCC, hosted by LL Cool J and Melissa Joan Hart. Then on Sunday, don't miss the 1997 Big help a hosted by Mike O'Malley and co-hosted by Larissa Olenek. Count down the biggest Nick shows ever. Super! Jump into the action with Nickelodeon's Game Fest and catch the world premiere of Nick's brand new comedy special and now this with guest host Rosie O'Donnell. The biggest Big help a ever. A full weekend of big Nick shows, big celebrities, and your big chance to pledge your time to make a big difference in the world. So be a part of the Big Help Weekend. Starts tonight at 8, 7 central, only on Nickelodeon. Coming to video. One of the all-time great movies is heading your way. Crazy. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Hey! Now, Mowgli. Yeah, man! Baloo. Man, what a beat. Bagheera. Oh, yes, yes. And all their jungle friends can be your friends, too. Oobie-doo. I want to be like you. It's the movie that can keep you dancing all day long. One more time! Yeah! You can own Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Coming to video. Rated G. What a swing and party. Now the championship's on the line. Can you sink the winning shot? Nerf electronic shot clock basketball with lights and wheel announcer and crowd sound. You get seconds to do the job. Can he do it? He takes the fade away. He misses. But wait, there's a foul. He gets another chance. He drives to the hoop. No good. He gets the ball. He puts it up from downtown. It's good. They win the championship. Nerf electronic shot clock basketball. Batteries not included. Nerf for nothing. It's the galaxy's worst nightmare. The Death Star for your action fleet. Now you can command it all. Imperial shuttle refueling the Death Star. Where the evil Emperor and Darth Vader rule. Moon robot, fire! The Death Star with a firing super cannon. Gotcha, Skywalker. And battle damage TIE Fighter. Return to Death Star. The Death Star and Ice Planet Hot Playset. More action for your Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet. Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet playsets with exclusive vehicle and six figures. You put it together. Additional collection sold separately. This year, a major change will take place in Alex Mack's life. And he's pretty cool, too. Don't miss the secret world of Alex Mack every Tuesday and Thursday at 8, 7 central, cause... We're never done doing Nickelodeon.
actual results may vary. Snick around. So, then my aunt says to me, if you don't like ketchup, how come you like tomatoes? <laughs> you know, speaking of tomatoes, I was at the tomato convention the other day, right? right? And I was like, what? Excuse me. Hello. Uh, who are you? I'm the new lifeguard. The new lifeguard? <laughs> new lifeguard? <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't need a lifeguard. That's what everyone says until they find themselves in a dangerous situation. Uh, but sir, not to be rude, but there's no water here. Yeah, really, you're just wasting your time. Hey, be careful out there, no horse play. <laughs> Who are you yelling at? There's nobody out there. Hey, who's the lifeguard here, huh? Whatever. <laughs> Let's just go do the show. No, come on, the show. Right, hey. Well, that was close. Uh, let's go do the show. Yeah, yeah, let's. Hey! No running. Fresh out the box. Stop. Look and watch. Ready yet? Get set. It's all that. children. I tell you, you're going to get a burrito, some beans, a bran muffin, and peas. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Fiddler. Take a look at those peas. Uh, yeah. You see them? The peas? Yeah, they're peas, all right. You don't seem very excited. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, peas. I haven't been this excited since I saw broccoli. <laughs> Making a joke at the expense of the peas. Well, well yeah, but I was just joking. Oh, you were just joking? Well, I don't think you're very funny. Ain't nothing humorous about peas. No. <laughs> My babies. Oh my goodness, Miss Finland almost lost her temper. Oh, please forgive me. Hi, Miss Piddlin. Well, hello there, my angelic little angel. What's for lunch? Well, you're gonna get a burrito, some beans, a bran muffin, and peas. Mm. Those peas fresh? Why do you ask? Because they don't look like fresh peas. Oh, are you saying that Miss Pillin's peas aren't fresh? 
No, I just said that they don't look oh, fresh. Oh, you just said that they don't look fresh? Oh, well, if you don't want to eat beef, then don't need nothing at all. You know what? You know, we're going to see the same thing. Now, get out! <laughs> need more peas? Need more peas? Come on, boy, bring me some more peas. Oh, give me more peas. Give me more peas. Give me more peas. Miss Miss Piddlin, he, here's more peas. Isn't that a lovely thing, more peas? I'm just gonna set them down very slow. Oh, it is a lovely thing. Now that the children have peas, children love peas. That they do. Everyone knows that. Um, everyone loves peas. Peas. Yeah, you love them too, don't you? Jess, I I love them. I watch oh, mm, mm. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey! Can, can, can I get some food? Why yes, baby. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. All right. <laughs> Here's your burrito. Oh, that burrito look nasty. Your beef. <laughs> oh, yuck. Here's a bran muffin. And of course, here's the peas. <laughs> Man, that food look nasty. All the food? Yes, all the food. I mean, cafeteria food is the worst. Well, certainly you don't mean the peas. Oh, yeah. Especially the peas. <laughs> you gonna eat these peas. I don't have to eat the peas. Who are you? You ain't my mama. I ain't eating the peas. Peas are nasty. Everybody hates peas. I hate peas, they hate peas. We hate peas. I don't uh -oh. I like it, Dino, but you gotta go. Oh, what are you doing? No. See you later. <laughs> Almost let my anchor in brute script get the best of me. How the peas, children? Everybody loves peas. Green peas and black peas. Snow peas and dried peas. These are a few of my favorite things. Old peas and new peas and chickpeas and snow peas. Big peas and small peas and hot peas and cold peas. Peas make you happy and peas make you sad. Peas are a few of my favorite things. We all need peas. We all love peas. When we are feeling sad. I simply remember my favorite peas. And now, Lori Beth Denberg with more vital information for your everyday life. If you eat 42 strawberries, 78 bananas, 50 grapes, and 200 apples, then you're full of fruit! <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's this guy, Mo, and why is he so eeny, meeny, and miny? <laughs> if you're reading a book and it says "Clippity blobbity blibbity blue," congratulations, you can't read. This has been Lori Beth Denberg with vital information. Nickelodeon Sports Theater with inspiring stories about kids, sports, and what it takes to beat the odds. Here, have a look. In 1947, one man's triumph restores a young boy's dream. I'm going to play shortstop for the Brooklyn Dodgers. <laughs> You're going to play for the Dodgers and I'm going to be the president. Don't let the ugliness outside destroy the beauty within you. Nickelodeon Sports Theater. Catch it. Nickelodeon Sports Theater with Shaquille O'Neal. Next Saturday night at 9, 8 central on Snake or Nick. The only network for you.
Drive deep into the Lost World Jurassic Park and experience... The Lost World Jurassic Park from Hedgebox. Watch out for hidden head butters at the Lost World Site B Fuel Depot. <laughs> or they'll headbutt your Matchbox Humvee. Break out to escape. Now to the Matchbox Site B Garage. Go up the tower. Beware of raptors who attack from the ground. But your Matchbox 4x4 traps one. The Lost World Jurassic Park playsets and some die-cast vehicles sold separately from Matchbox. Yo-ho, this is Monique. French toast with a flip. This is Ed the Wafflehead. Hey, who are you calling a Wafflehead? This is Shortstack. <laughs> so weak. And this is Aunt Jemima, part of a complete breakfast. Be a breakfast head with, with Aunt, Aunt Jemima. Jemima. Join the club, get free stuff. Please good. Play it on me. Plus, you can instantly win Nickelodeon prizes like this. See Aunt Jemima boxes for details. <laughs> who turned out the lights? Guys! Catch like a pro with a Vortex Sure Grip. I'm John Elway. I'm just a kid, but I can catch any pass from John Elway with the new Vortex Sure Grip. Now go long. Vortex, the farthest flying football. Now with super soft foam for awesome catches every time. Yeah! And new super sound with Vortex Mega Helmet. It's Koosh. The gang's all here. Stick with us. What is our current heading in speed, Singo? We are heading that direction, then we are going pretty darn fast. Can be more specific? We're hauling butt! We're hauling butt! Thank you. Officer Kanker, there's an illegal alien ship approaching fast. And that all friendly, shields up! <laughs> Captain of the bridge! Not so important, I was in the bathtub. We're under attack, sir! Officer Kanker, status report. Ow! Oh, what's happening with these doors? I'm doing the best I can, Captain. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Now, Officer Kanker. Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh, oh, open! 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 Officer! Officer! Fix those doors! I'm trying! Oh, we're gonna... <laughs> Thank you. Now, are you quite certain we're under attack? Yes, I'm pretty sure that was an attack, sir. Now, we return fire. Aye, aye, sir. Captain! Lasers don't respond. Officer Olsen, fix those laser weapons immediately. Quit screaming at me. I'm working on the doors, man. Forget the doors, man. We're under attack. We need weapons. Oh, here. I'm behind my ass off. Don't play that laser! Stop! Stop! <laughs> my bad. Oh, nice going! You vaporized Captain Peril, and we're under attack! Oh, everything's my fault. <laughs> we'll have to beam up a replacement captain from Starfleet. In a dozen! Duty. What? Wait, 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 wait a minute. You cannot be our replacement captain. And why not? Be because you're a little kid. Yeah, I guess you're right. I am right. I'm sorry. You should be. Come here. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the future, officer. Kids are equals, if you haven't heard. Booster seat. Aye, right, sir. Now, first, Officer Kanker, what is our current situation? Well, we're under heavy attack from an unknown alien spacecraft. Oh, they fired on us again! They fired on us again! That's what I... I am Thumbtacks, the leader of the alien ship. Do you surrender, Captain? <laughs> You hurt my spaceship! <laughs> oh, nice going, Thumbtack. You made our little captain cry. You fired lasers at me, and I'm just a little girl. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. How was I supposed to know that your captain was a little girl? I'm sorry, little captain. 
I didn't mean to harm your ship. I, what can I do to make you feel better, sweetie? Lower your shield! But I... <laughs> All right. Lower shields. Shields down! All right, dear. Our shields are down. Is that better? I guess so. Fire main lasers! Fire lasers! <laughs> 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 Alien ship destroyed! Excellent! Take us out of here, Singo! Heading 2614, Mark II! Yes, and I'm but, but, Captain, we're supposed to be heading for Jupiter. That mark will take us directly to some place called Happy Toyland? So? We don't have time to go to Happy Toyland, no. But I We'll go to Happy Toyland. To Happy Toyland. And now, All That Presents a semi educational moment. Everyday French with Pierre S. Cargo. Qu'est-ce que Adam Fabric avec mon floppy disk? What are you doing to my floppy disk? Can I donate a mon poisson un rubber donate de bouton? Who gave my fish a rash? Embrace moi, tape moi, mais appelle Madame Beasley. Kiss me, squeeze me, call me Mrs. Beasley. Wow, it sure is a beautiful day for fishing. Oh, boy, it sure is. I just love fishing. Me too. Well, the only thing I like more than fishing is fishing with my good friend, Squash Boy. Squash Boy? Uh-huh. In fact, here comes Squash Boy now. Over here, Squash Boy. Uh-huh. Gee, I say, here comes Squash Boy now. Yay! Over here, Squash Boy. <laughs> yep, and sure it's time for Squash Boy to be out here. I wonder why Squash Boy don't show. Hi there. What? what? Katie, Katie, what are you doing? Uh, Aren't you in your squash boy costume? Somebody messed up, man. My squash boy costume isn't ready. Somebody spilled something. But, but what are you supposed to do? Oh, no. I'm just glad I'm not in this sketch no more. Say ya! No, Katie! 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 Oh, we are really sorry about all this, folks. Uh, I'm sure they'll get Keenan in his costume any minute. <laughs> Live TV? You know what can you do? I have no idea. <laughs> we, we could go fishing. Okay, you first. All right, my turn. Uh, oh, I, 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 I think I got something. What the? <laughs> my baby, my baby! Whose baby is this? Uh, Ma'am? Uh, ma'am, give me back my baby! I just gotta unhook it, ma'am. I'm sorry. Here. Uh, uh, she's in there. Um, no, my turn. Uh, hope you have better luck than I do. Yeah. I well, call I a baby. Um, well, my hair! You're bald! <laughs> it takes a lot. Here, my turn. I'll try. Oh, I got something. Oh, I hope it's a big one. Oh, 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 o
Help me, help me. Uh, Amanda, help. You, you hooked the camera, Amanda. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Check the vibe of more of that and the jazzy sounds of Erica Badu coming up next. It's in the air. Slick will be right back. New episodes every Monday and Wednesday at 8, 7 Central. It's the galaxy's worst nightmare. The Death Star for your action fleet. Now you can command it all. Imperial shuttle refueling at Death Star. Where the evil Emperor and Darth Vader rule. Load Probot, fire! The Death Star with a firing super cannon. Gotcha, Skywalker. And battle damaged TIE Fighter. Return to Death Star. The Death Star and Ice Planet Hot Playsets. More action for your Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet. Micro Machine Star Wars action fleet playsets with exclusive vehicle and six figures. You put it together. Additional collections sold separately. The news spread to every house in America. Something big was coming to breakfast. Hi, Tony. Hi there. No. All it needed now was the approval of just one man. Your new cocoa cereal, sir? <clears throat> Good? Good? They're great! Ship it! New chocolatey frosted Kellogg's Cocoa Frosted Flakes cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. Now Frosted Flakes have gone cocoa. There's a special place that's far away Where all the Merwees come to play Merwees, it's bath time! Merwees are beautiful girls who live in seashell houses And when they swim in your tub, they magically turn into mermaids All the shells come with their very own water toys and special sea friends Merwees, Merwees One Merwee doll comes with each shell, others sold separately Do you think of the prices here at Mars? I've shopped around and Mars prices are the lowest. This is why I shop at Mars. Great value. Mars prices are lower than the other prices I shop. Mars is cheaper. A lot cheaper. Low, low prices. You can't beat it. <laughs> they come out a winner every time. That's Mars. Lucky Leaf Apple Juice, 64 ounce bottle, 99 cents limit one. Edie's Grand Ice Cream or Frozen Yogurt, half gallon, two for five dollars. And Progresso Soup, selected varieties, 19 ounce can, 99 cents. Now through Tuesday at Mars. Adventure World, Hollow Scream! It's a whole new brew with more to do. From cute and spooky to deeply creepy. New for the little monsters is Teeny Scream at Skull Island. With a hay wagon ride and more, there's a trick-or-treat trail and Midnight Express. But for total terror, the Hall of Horror Trail of Terror was Hair Raising Ride! Save $10 on admission through October 12th with coupons at Giant Food. Adventure World's Hollow Scream. All that is back. Continue sticking. All that proudly presents Life with Peter and Flam. Peter uses his laptop computer to do his homework. Flam smashes stolen coconuts. <laughs> Peter exercises every day. He runs over five miles. <laughs> Flam runs from the police. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Here's your catfish sandwich in your good shape. <laughs> this is not my order, Scud Waffle. I didn't order no fried fish and fish between two slices of bread. Neither nor did I order a milkshake baby strike. <laughs> Are you a fairy princess? <laughs> no, nut balloon. Uh, no? Look, look, look. 
just forget the food meal and give me, Lester Oaks construction worker, one large round of sound for musical guest Eric Badu. Okay, sure. One large round of sound for our musical guest Eric Badu. <laughs>
Wake up. The show's over. Oh, yeah. Kick it. Now, when you're done with your soda, you recycle. Next. Boy, this hoping is easy. Susie. Susie, Catalina's imaginary, invisible friend. Yep. You're really Susie. Yes, I'm really Susie. So let me get this straight. You're Susie? How do you believe you guys were flunking out? Yes, I'm Susie. Well, well Catalina, I mean, I, I, oh, she, she's fine. I saved her with a trans-dimensional interstitial molecular polarity reversal. Not bad if I do say so myself. It's great. Uh, what's, uh, trans facial Okay. He's Catalina, and she's me. So, the ship exploded. And in order to save Catalina's life, I had to pull her out of this dimension. And then I got yanked here, in her place, moments after the ship blew up. So Catalina is now safe, in another dimension. Another world we can't see? Yeah. Commander, the concussion from the sister ship explosion has taken several systems offline, including the coolant system on deck six, the jump tube number three, and... Thanks, Thelma. We have more important things to worry about at the moment. You're certainly right about that. Great. Now how do we get Catalina back? All we have to do is tear open another barrier between the two dimensions. And how do we do that? Well, the only way I know is the same way I got here. We have to blow up the ship. And all this time we thought Susie didn't exist. Okay, I thought Catalina was crazy at first. I mean, it didn't sound so crazy. You do not understand. You probably never will. Oh, that is not what I mean. Whoa, three small kill cruisers. Yes, the alarm systems are down, too. Quick, to your posts. Mr. Radu, raise the shields. It's too late. Woo! Commander, there's nowhere to run. Navigation system. Rosie, open up a communication channel with the lead spawn kill cruiser. Are you sure? Do it, Rosie. We have nothing to lose. <laughs> Begging for mercy won't help you now, aliens. Your fate is sealed. I command you to abort this mission and return to your outpost. I am Sirola Elmara, royal daughter of Warlord Shank. Did she say Warlord Shank is her father? 
Your presence aboard this alien vessel is a pleasant surprise, Sorola Elmira. We had presumed you dead. Attack this vessel again, Captain. And you'll wish you were dead. Now, have I made myself clear? I am under direct orders from Warlord Chank to destroy this vessel with all hands aboard. My father's alive? However, we cannot very well destroy this vessel with you on board, Sorella and Myra. All right. Therefore, I will now activate the royal retrieval chip embedded within you, transport you to my cruiser, and then destroy this vessel. What does that mean? It means I'm going to disappear in a few seconds. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. But listen, don't worry about me. They're not going to hurt me. I'm too important for the Empire. I'll try and buy you guys some time, but you have to get to the sector really fast. I'm not right. It seems like we're always saying thank you and goodbye. We'll be together again, I do. It's our destiny. Four minutes, time's over, boys. We gotta get out of here now. But how? Look! Hurry! Get going! Hurry, let's go! Carlin, prepare to make a hyper jump. You can't jump, Commander. The navigation system's down. This could take me hours to get it to work again. What? You can fix it? Yeah. And besides, I crystal Bonham with me when I boarded with all of you. The Thung have fired another two concussion torpedoes at us. Somebody do something! Okay. Are we going to our hooky A blind hyperjump is our only chance. But we can't see. We could come out of hyperspace anywhere. In the middle of a meteor storm. Or right up next to a sun. Or we could stay here and get boarded by spun torpedoes in another few seconds. We don't really have much of a choice, do we? Prepare for a blind hyperjump, right? Do it. Prepare to fire. <laughs> Online. That was fast. It looks like you're as good as you say you are. Better. Bubble torpedoes on their way. Four seconds to impact. Get us out of here, Mr. Bear. Hang on, everyone. Here we go. Pursue them and put an end to their pitiful pasty face. Did anyone ever tell you that you spit when you talk? We're live! We survived the blind hyperjump! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, for a moment there, I thought we were in real trouble. I knew you were 
to the Christopher Wall. for Kel, and a brand new one-hour edition of Nickelodeon Sports Theater with Shaquille O'Neal about the big dreams of the big leagues and the big obstacles between them. So if anybody asks you what's new, we think you'll know what to say. Snick. Next Saturday night at 8, 7 Central, only on Nick. Coming to video. Come on, Baggy, get with the beat. It's one of the swingin'est, singin'est party celebrations the jungle has ever seen. You better believe it. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book on video. Hey! The incredible story of Mowgli. Yeah, man! Whose jungle friends lead him on the wildest adventure a kid's ever had. I love that kid. In the toe-tapping, knee-slapping <laughs> movie you can own for your very own. Crazy. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book, coming to video October 14th. Rated G. What a swingin' party. It's Melanie's World. It's Melanie on Ice. With the Melanie on Ice place that you skate Melanie across the rink in beautiful costumes. Great lift. And Melanie has a skating partner so you can put together fabulous routines and make her spin like a gold medal star. Melanie skates single or with her best friends. There's a snack bar and a locker too. With Melanie, your dreams come true. In Melanie's World. Melanie on Ice place that includes everything you see here. Other dolls sold separately. Batteries not included. Yesterday, Georgie got Lego divers, and something happened. First, he built a boat. It was a snap. Lego mania. Then he built a whole underwater world with a sea lab treasure and hidden dangers. Now he was a Lego maniac. A big shot. Riding around in submarines, hanging out with frogmen, stingrays, sharks. Sharks! <laughs> the exciting new divers collection from Lego System. Each set sold separately. We're the breakfast crew, and this is our new deal for breakfast. Everything will revolve around the toaster. All foods will be four-sided. And we'll have no use for spoons, except as nose guards. Naturally, the official food of the breakfast crew is anything but breakfast as usual. It's Kellogg's Pop-Tarts, funky frosting on top of real fruit filling and side square pastry. Part of this complete breakfast, which if we had our way, would be surprising. Because at breakfast, Pop-Tarts rule! What do you think of the prices here at Mars? The prices are cheaper than the other stores, and you get good quality. Compared to most other stores, I think they're a lot lower. There's uh, usually a good selection, and the prices are very, very good as well. I like the prices. I do save a lot. That's why I come here. That's Mars. Lucky Leaf Apple Juice, 64-ounce bottle, 99 cents, limit one. Edie's Grand Ice Cream or Frozen Yogurt, half gallon, two for $5. And Progresso Soup, selected varieties, 19-ounce can, 99 cents. Now through Tuesday at Mars. Wouldn't it be nice if everything were guaranteed like cable service? Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's $20. I'm sorry your table wasn't ready. Your dinner will be free. 
It would be nice, but only your cable company offers you these guarantees. On-time service appointments or $20 refund. Guaranteed. And on-time installation or it's free. Guaranteed. Too bad everything isn't guaranteed like cable service. Sorry we're late, folks. This flight will be free. Keep watching. There's more Snick coming up next. Go, Harley. Oh, yeah, fine. Blame it all on me. No, I, I meant it. You got us down safely. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. The screen won't power up. We can't see much of what's outside. I'm going to go out and check the environment. Oh, oh, oh it, it might not be safe. See these? They're like gills, except for the vacuum of space. I can breathe in anything. Oh, yeah? Well, you've obviously never been to the exercise sphere after Harlan's used it. Oh, me? What about you, cheese feet? Uh, just a sec, Susie. Thelma? Yeah, that crystal's still cracking. I wish we could fix that. And Thelma, go with her. Collect samples for examination. You know, I have been to the exercise sphere, and I have survived both Harlan and cheese feet. Good stuff. There's a little sticky. Nitrogen, oxygen, a little krypton. Well, we are most fortunate the environment is so hospitable. It should be uh, quite nice, really. Almost uh, tropical. Miss Davenport, it was a good idea to set up a temporary camp. We've been cooped up in the crust a long time. Hey, Radu, can you handle that? Sure. This isn't heavy. For me. Maybe later we can get together for a game of brains versus brawn. You better to do it, Commander Goddard. Thanks, Rosie. You saved me a lot of time. Well, you know, it's almost as if the crease is trying to help repair herself. She's probably as anxious to get out of here as we are. I've got good news, bad news, and more bad news. The good news is that I've checked most of the Chris's integral systems. It's going to take a while, but we should be able to repair her and make her spaceworthy again. The bad news? Well, one of the Protomix fuel lines cracked. If we can't find an alternate source of power, we're going to be here till who knows when. More bad news? There's something in the upper atmosphere of this planet that's jamming my communication with Catalina. At the moment, I can't get in touch with her. But you're sure she's okay in your dimension? Oh, she's at my place rewiring my dog. She's fine. Does anybody know where we are? Yes. We're definitely lost. to our advantage if we replenish our water supply. With all the damage the crystal sustained, who knows if our cycling systems can keep our onboard supply pure. There you go, Ms. Davenport. This water tests as pure as can be. We'll have plenty to drink. Cool-looking stuff, isn't it? Very interesting. What have you got this time? Oh, well, cool, I found work. this out. Uh, yes, wow, this, this is something off a ship. Some sort of a uh, composite material. Well, yeah. Correct. This is very interesting. It seems to be some sort of bulb. I don't know. It might attach an android's arm to her body. Oh, 
pardon. So, looks like you got a new roommate now. Yeah, I miss Catalina. But I think I'm really gonna like Susie. Do you think these things are edible? You think she's smart? Nah, she's got guilt. Nah, she probably flaps instead. Well, she sure is smart. Probably seem really stupid to her. Speak for yourself. Oh. in place, we won't have to worry about any nocturnal visitors disturbing us. Yeah, these vines, strong enough to hold our experiments. Wow, look at the sunset. Great crash for you, Harlan. <laughs> Thanks. You know, I, I kind of think I owe you an apology. For what? Well, I used to tease Catalina all the time about you being imaginary. And, well, you're definitely not imaginary. You are as real as it gets. Well, Helen Band, apology accepted. Commander Goddard? Uh, I have a, I have a question. Shoot. I, I wonder if, if, if Susie... Uh... Did you think, do you think Susie would... Susie would what? Never mind. Ready? Just be yourself. You'll be fine. Well, Thelma should have been able to get a fix on her position by now. Let's see. Thelma! Thelma! That's odd. Last time anyone saw Thelma, she was heading east of the jungle. You three go northeast, I will take southeast. Harlan? Be careful. This place was so pretty in the daytime. Now it's kind of creepy. Literally. Hold on a minute. Did, did you hear that? Hear what? Help! It's Thelma. She's calling for help. I didn't hear anything. He's in Andromeda. He could hear a spider spin his web from a mile away. I heard that. Velma! 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 Help! Velma! Oh, watch out! Thelma, can you extend an arm or, or a leg or something, uh, something we can grab onto? I'm afraid that is not possible. I cannot propel myself from this quicksand. And in the next 20 seconds, I will be completely submerged. Can you give my regards to the others? 17 seconds. Don't give up, Thelma. We need you. Hang on, Thelma. Get ready. 15 seconds. I hope this doesn't hurt, Thelma. 17 seconds. Yeah. We did it. Be careful, Thelma. Oh, that quicksand was the pits. Well, you're safe now, Thelma. Sandy, but safe.
What I do? In the tree. Get the fruit. Hurry. You picked a heck of a time to want a snack. It's for that thing. It's not a meat eater. It's a vegetarian. How do you know that? You just feed it. Don't worry, Harlan. He doesn't want to eat you. He just wants to tear you apart. Oh, good. For a minute there, I thought I was in trouble. Guess he needed more fiber in his diet. Yeah. <sighs> you should have seen it. It was like Susie entered the mind of the monster. <laughs> and she can't do it that long, though. And it, it's amazing. She can actually scan thoughts. Yeah, but she told me she doesn't like to do it. She said it makes her feel... Like... Nosy? Maybe. So she can breathe in any atmosphere, go into people's minds, and she's a genius. I mean, if she's so different from us, what can't she do? Go home. Guess she's not so different from us after all. Yeah, at least we're kind of used to being away from home by now. Susie, she's gonna need some help to adjust. Well, for starters, we can tell her that... She doesn't have to listen outside. She's welcome to come in. So you heard me out there, huh? You have to ask. Okay. So, I'm one of you guys, except I'm not. And I can push my way into minds, except uh, I won't. And I'm real smart, I can make you feel stupid, but I won't do that either. So, where do we go from here? With any luck? Home. Hey, Mark Summers here. Wondering, will it be the pie pod, the pie wash, or the pie coaster for my next unsuspecting guest? Find out on What Would You Do? It's right here next on Nickelodeon. the same as yours. It's not sapping or morphing. It's helping. Please do whatever you can to make the big help even bigger. A boy with a dream is now a man on a mission. Astronaut Fred Randall. <laughs> We're going to Mars. He may not have the training. Hello, my little hair ball. <laughs> he may not have the skills. Good luck, Astronaut Randall. But that won't stop him. Whoopsie! And the man, Fred? From shooting for the stars. Put on the far side, Mama. We're coming home! Yeah! Disney's Rocket Man. Be careful you don't get sucked out when you flush. Rated TV starts Friday, October 10th at a theater near you. It's Doodle Bear with tie-dye fun. Yeah, I'm the Doodle Bear. Check out my T-shirt and cap. Now you can doodle in tie-dye as easy as a snap. Doodle funny stuff. Use my markers to tie-dye. Anything you do makes me look like one cool guy. I'm the Doodle Bear. Each bear sold separately. The news spread to every house in America. Something big was coming to breakfast. Hi, Tony. Hi there. Oh, all it needed now was the approval of just one man. <gasps> Your new cocoa cereal, sir? Mm. Good? Good? They're great! Ship it. New chocolatey frosted Kellogg's Cocoa Frosted Flakes cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. Now frosted flakes have gone cocoa. Chips ahoy!
assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. and comics collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, Kablamsters. It's Henry. And June. Today on Kablam, we're proud to introduce... The latest breakthrough in interactive television. Kablamovision! Henry, walk us into the future, won't you? With virtual pleasure. And now prepare yourself for our first interaction. June will pick a card and hold it up for you, the audience, to see. Remember this card. Wow, you and the card trick are now interacting. Is this your card? No. Is this your card? Um, no. Is this your card? No, that's um, not it either. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Don't blame me. This new technology may be defective. Yeah, that's it. And speaking of defectives, here's Action League now. Dateline, Driveway International Airport. With the world on the brink of war, the Action League stands ready to escort an emissary of peace to a vital summit. Now remember, the ambassador has to sign that treaty, or we may be looking at World War III. He must be protected at all costs. Don't worry, Chief. Protecting ambassadors is our middle name. Not mine. It's Murray. Your Excellency, it is indeed a great honor. I salute you. I salute you, Chief. And I salute everybody! League now starring the flesh he's super strong and super naked thunder girl she flies like thunder stinky diver a former navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor and meltman with the power to melt today's episode danger for a dignitary we find our heroes at a secret lab where the only hope for world peace lies in pieces. Gullers, can't they just send another ambassador? Flesh, need I remind you what you did to the last three ambassadors they sent? Yes, please. The first ambassador took in the beauty of our coastline. A little closer than he intended. The next one visited the hood. And wound up underneath it. And the third guy didn't even make it to lunch! <laughs> now they're all out of ambassadors! Blast it! Bill the lab guy, you've got to save this one! There's nothing I can do. Unless, well, there is a surgical procedure. But it's going to take time. That's the one thing I don't have! The treaty signing starts in an hour! Hang on, I've got an idea! They're nearly identical. What a coincidence. Everyone, action huddle. Here's the plan. 
One hour later at the World Peace Summit, the League's ingenious plan to save the world is revealed. I'm taking these clothes off. My naked body yearns to be free. No! I know it's killing you, mate, but hang in there. No one suspects a thing. Ambassador, a great pleasure. Howdy doody. Whoopsies. Meanwhile, the real ambassador undergoes a delicate procedure. There's thunder. I need more glue. Oh, no. I've lost him. I was afraid of this. Goody! Popcorn's done. Back at the summit. These clothes are chafing my sensitive skin. I must say, this is hardly the ambassador I knew at Cambridge. And now, before we sign, I call upon the ambassador to lay out the principles of this historic agreement. Uh, I was told there'd be no math. It must be humbling to hold the fate of so many in one's hands. Ladies and people, it is with great pleasure that I take off these stupid clothes! Hooray for me! Has a disrobed dignitary dashed all hopes for world peace? Can Bill the Lab Guy save a dismembered diplomat? Stay tuned for the action's scanned conclusion of Action League Now. We'll have more action later on in the show. But right now, we've got interaction. We now present, for the first time ever on TV, a totally interactive Kablamavision staring contest. First one to blink loses. Ready, set, stare. I have to warn you. We're practically unbeatable. Oh man, shoot. I'm out. Loser. Uh oh. I, I, I got a tinkle. Gee, too bad. Guess that means you. Be right back. Wow. She's good. Well, since you're staring, feast your eyes on that big brand alien and his cro magnon crony, Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape 8. Furniture. Uh, 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 uh,
Keep your tushy on the cushy. Still to come, life with Loopy. The offbeat. And when we return, more Action League now. Right here on Kablam! Sometimes we just can't control it. Sneak will be right back. Arnold. Really Gerald. I'm a man of the world, my brother. They hang together. This is the life. They boogie together. They're friends. Friends very end. Absolutely. Watch Gerald Johansson and Arnold. Uh, Arnold. Uh, Wait, what is his last name? Catch an all-new Hey Arnold every Monday and Wednesday night at 8, 7 Central, only on Nickelodeon. Coming to video. One of the all-time great movies is heading your way. Crazy. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Hey! Now, Mowgli. Yeah, man! Baloo. Man, what a beat. Megara. Oh, yes, yes. And all their jungle friends can be your friends, too. Ooby-doo. I want to be like you. It's the movie that can keep you dancing all day long. One more time! Yeah! You can own Walt Disney's The Jungle Book. Coming to video. Rated G. What a swinging party. Take care of me, triplets, or home I see. Let's take a peek at these new little three. Uh-oh, one's crying. Her mom knows what to do. Now another baby's crying. She wants to be fed too. Baby number three, he's a little boy. A kiss and hug will turn his tears to joy. Take care of me, triplets, they're so much fun. Cause you're caring for three instead of just one. Oh my. <laughs> Cheesy. Dangerously cheesy. Now in Crunchy Nacho. Hot Wheels, lead the way, Mega Rig. You've got a really big job? Roll in Hot Wheels Mega Rig, a truck that transforms into a whole construction site. Mega Rig. It's got everything you need to get the job done. So you can dump it, mix it, hook it and haul it, or build up the crane and wrecking ball and smash things down. You can always get the job done with Mega Rig, a whole construction site in one. Mega Rig construction site comes with everything you see here, only from Hot Wheels. Hey, Kablamoids, Henry and June are ready to snick, so hop on the couch. Kablam! Action League now. An ambassador impaired, immobilized, impersonated. With doom impending, an action imbecile creates an international imbroglio. Or does he? Brilliant! He stands naked before us in the spirit of peace. Genius! He lays bare the true meaning of diplomacy. Hooray for the ambassador! Hooray for feeling free! Hooray! Hooray! And so I signed this treaty with fairness and nudity for all. Hooray! Congratulations, Flesh. It isn't every day you get to save the world naked. All work here is done. Ambassador the Flesh? He's an imposter. We've been duped. This means war, large missiles. Hand me my pants. Later that day, with their mission botched, our heroes bid adieu to an oblivious ambassador. Goodbye, Action League. Thank you for all you did to ensure world peace. Someday, I hope you will come visit my country. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure thing. You bet. Yeah, yeah, you bet. You bet. I wonder if we should tell him that his country is a smoking crater. Whoopsie! Whoa. Nah! 
We can tell him later. The end. Welcome back. You know, interactive TV isn't just about cheap gimmicks. It's about sharing. That's correct, Henry. And now, thanks to Kablamavision, we'd like to share with you the sounds of the sea. Hey, can I hear? To fully enjoy your encounter with the sea, you may want to adjust your volume. But it's my turn. Later, Henroid. I'm trying to interact here. Give it. Ahoy now. This is Kablamerific. You're right, Henry. That was Kablamerific. Just like life with Loopy. Do not adjust your set. It's my world that's been turned upside down. Let me explain. See, this all started last Monday night, when me and the folks were trying to spend some quality time together. Speed a big concern, safety not an issue? Call the Quick Fix Construction Company. We guarantee a quick fix for any housing headache or your money back. The only problem was, something was spoiling our concentration. Poopy, sweetie, a drink of water might cure those hiccups. Actually, what our little honey bunch needs is a good old-fashioned shock to the system. Ah! Yep. You know, the only 100% surefire way is to stand on your head and count backwards. 84, 83, 82. As usual, my expert advice was right on the money, and soon her hiccups were history. 81. Hey, it worked! Unfortunately, we were about to have a bigger problem on our hands. Everything looks so cool upside down. I'm gonna stay this way forever. Well, take it from me. Once Loopy gets an idea into her head, she can get real hung up on it. There was nothing she could do right side up that she didn't like better upside down. And I mean nothing. But for the rest of us, Loopy's new lifestyle did have its upside downsides. Pocket fallout was a big problem. Honey, these croutons are a little stale. And her suction cups were driving us nuts. Quick fix construction! Don't think! Call now! Somehow we put up with it until... Hi, everybody! I'm home! Loopy decided to hang out with some new friends. Hey, Dad! Say hello to Lester! <coughs> ah! Oh, dear. Larry, could you do me a little favor? Get her down from there! Honey! Honey! Now, I wasn't about to waste my day peeling my roof rat sister off the ceiling. Hello? Quick fix construction? Don't worry, honey. I'm sure Larry took care of it. So you see, thanks to my quick fix solution, everyone got what they wanted. Mom's happy because Loopy's right side up again. Loopy's happy because she still gets to run around on the ceiling. And Dad, well, I'm sure he'll be happy as soon as he gets used to the new arrangements. Kablam! No need for blinking. Keep snicking. What makes Kablam? Kablam! Every episode is cartoon crap! with Sniz and Fondue. Loaded with Prometheus and Bob. Super concentrated with Action League now. Chock full of life with Loopy. Overflowing with the off-beats. Cartoon Cram. Kablam! Jam! Sweet! Wedge 
figures with electronic movie lights and sounds. Blaze across Tatooine with Power FX R2-D2. Control his secret mission along with his droid lights and sounds. And only Kenner brings you the real movie lights and action of Power FX Darth Vader and Power FX Luke Skywalker. Join them as their lightsabers glow, their destiny in your hands in this ultimate battle of good versus evil. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force. Lord Vader would like to try that again. New Power FX figures, each sold separately from Kenner. What's that? It's Gowie. What? Honeycomb, honeycomb, me want honeycomb! The crazy craving for honeycomb. Yeah, I can see it now. Honeycomb is so sweet and crunchy like toasted <laughs> honey! Yeah, toasted honey! Uh-oh, I am hungry! Let's get some honeycomb now! Yeah. Toast honeycomb cereal is part of this nutritious breakfast. Honeycomb! Now, back to Kablam! We're interacting live with you through the miracle of Kablamavision. Henry, take us into the next dimension of sight and sound. Now, when I say blow, start blowing. Ready? Blow! Come on, Boston. I don't see you blowing. Chicago! You call yourself the Windy City? Uh, Henry, I think we got a problem here. We sure do! Our audience is a bunch of wimps! Come on! Blow! Dig deep! Work it! Really put your lungs into it! What's the matter with you? Can't you spin a measly pinwheel? Whoa! Now that's interaction. While I go find Henry, prepare to be blown away by the offbeats. What's the matter, Tommy? My mom says I have to get my coat cleaned. So? I love this coat. It is kind of dirty, and it's only for one day. That wasn't so bad, was it? I want my coat! They never stay, never stay small. And the populace don't like them at all. But that's okay. Life is sweet. They cool. Ah! They the offbeats. I heard your coat is being clean, Tommy. You can borrow my coat o -Matic 2000. It's not my coat. I know, but look what my coat can do. It doesn't even look like my coat. But I can make it look like your coat. No. 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 Ready, Ann? Yes, Tommy? I want my coat! <laughs> Rapunzel. Mm. What's wrong, Tommy? Mm. What did he say? He said, I want my coat! Going golfing.
Breathe, Tommy. Breathe. Hey, what's wrong with Tommy? His coat's at the cleaners. So what? Tommy loves his coat. Oh, Tommy Wommy needs his Cody Wody. Don't push it, Tina. Hey, Tommy, your epidermis is showing. Coats. Tommy? Coats. Tommy? Coats. Hello? Coats. Run! Sorry, Tommy. About what? Well, that about wraps up the historic debut of Kablamavision. Let's commemorate this towering technological achievement with a photograph of you, the audience. And as a bonus, I'm going to be in the picture with you. How come you get to be in it? I'm only thinking of our fans, Jean. Okay, everybody, move in. This is the chance of a lifetime. Everybody smile and say, Kablam! Let me see, let me see. Hey! <laughs> Boy, the fans really do love you, Henry. See you next time, Kablamites! Join us again next time! Same Kablam time, same Kablam network! stop auto and tire center all your auto service needs under one roof repairs on all cars foreign or domestic complete tire and wheel alignment service express lube only 9.95 for an oil change with quaker state oil and filter there's never a wait at one stop just bring in your car and relax one stop may be big but personal attention and complete satisfaction are guaranteed one stop auto and tire center call for this week's tire special If you really want to treat your family and friends special, come to Arirang Hibachi Steakhouse and Sushi Bar, a great place to celebrate any special occasion. You'll enjoy an exciting dining experience where dishes are prepared at your table by our expert chefs with only the finest in steak, chicken, and seafood delights. And try our famous sushi bar. Great food, beautifully presented, tastes so much better. So yes, it's great for parties, but you might just want to treat yourself. Arirang Hibachi Steakhouse, excitement you can take.
coming to video. Come on, Saggy, get with the beast. He's one of the swingin'est, singin'est party celebrations the jungle...